Yo, um, I'm here in Northampton, not where I was uh, planning to be actually. Um, I was planning on being in somewhere called Kettering, um, but I must have typed in when I Google mapped it. Um, yeah, it took me here to Northampton to the Criminal Justice Centre. So yeah, a bit of an unplanned one. Um, the story I wanted to cover still stands because it's to do with Northamptonshire uh, police. But yeah, it looked a bit different when, like, when I pulled up to it. Um, it looked so different to uh, what I'd seen on Google Maps. I was like, am I in the right place? Um, turns out I was. Well, I wasn't, but I was in the right place where Google thought I wanted to go. Um, but yeah, so this is it. This is the Criminal Justice Centre here in Northampton. Um, and interestingly, right across the road, you've got Mighty Security Operations Centre. Um, now, the first thing I notice is this police car stopped on double yellow lines. Um, idling idling his engine on his mobile phone Hello. your engine's on and you're on your mobile phone are you uh, on the phone to emergency services right now Sorry? are you on the phone to emergency services right now okay then you should have your engine off while you're on the phone unless you're on the phone to emergency services or paying at a drive through it's a criminal offence isn't it So he's just going to continue with his engine on. Uh, KX69DYH. Hmm. That's the first thing, straight away, straight off the bat. Dear. So let's see if I can get his uh, number or name. It is PC224 Dixon. And uh, he's just going to continue sitting there on his mobile phone with the engine running. He's admitted on footage that he's not on the phone to emergency services. So what we'll do is wait for another constable. We'll report it. And see if they're going to do anything about it. Yeah, the exceptions are paying to drive through and being on the phone to emergency services. Other than that, under the new laws, you should not be touching your phone whilst your engine is running. Whether you're parked or not, your engine should be off. Just saw him go over his radio. Wait and see. So, uh, no public right of way. So, a right of way applies to vehicles. Otherwise, it would say no public access. So, it means public vehicles can't go through there.
so he's idling as well, which is also an offence. So yeah, we'll uh, wait here and we'll pick it up. <laughs> is that like Cafe to You? Is that his equivalent of his uh, ice cream van thing? Again, just parking up on double yellow lines, look. My friend, you can't park on double yellow lines outside a police station. That's against the law, isn't it? Why? Only if you're unloading heavy objects continuously, not to serve food. What does he have to offer? It's just going to stop on a roundabout on double yellows. Wonder if I were to do that, if that uh, police officer would do anything to me. Hmm. That looks like I got her at a good time anyway. I might catch them all uh, coming out for their bacon rolls. Catch the cannibalism in action. So, uh, 224 Dixon is still idling, still on his phone. Oh no, sorry, he's not on his phone, he's got his uh, radio in his hand. Ah, but mate, sorry man, I'm on a vape. Sorry, bud. Are you a police officer? Pardon? Are you a police officer? Yeah, I am. Okay. This uh, police officer here is parked on double yellows with his engine running and he was on his phone as well, which are all offences. Have you made a complaint at the moment? I'm, I'm doing that now to you, sir. Okay, give yeah. me one moment. Okay, okay thank you. So he said give him one second and uh, we'll see if he actually comes back or not. Or whether he's going to do the thin blue line thing. Hi, mate, you right? Oh, yeah, yes, sir. Chris Foster, I'm calling on this 980. Are you right? 982, yeah, thank you. No, Chris, no, 980. 980. Yeah, 980. Right. 980. So, what I'd recommend, best solution at the moment, because yep. I'm dealing with a live prisoner in custody. Okay. Um, I would say if you've got a complaint, yeah, yeah. Um, do you, what you've seen, if you've got it on video as well, yeah, yeah. 101 is probably the best shout. Right. Um, and to put a complaint through, um, if it's easier, mm -hmm. it's probably best to do it online. That probably that could be a little bit quicker. Yeah. Um, but that's what I'd recommend at the moment. Have you got an inquiry desk here at the... We don't, know. No. Our closest inquiry desk from here, unfortunately I'm not from the county. Right. I think it would be Western Fable. 
Western Fable, okay. Uh, Campbell Square. Campbell Square, cool. So the Campbell, Campbell Square is in the town centre. Yep. Um, and they may have a, a, a station that you can knock at. I don't know if they've got an active one all the time. Right, okay. Maybe like a floating one, but Fable should have someone manned. Is that woman. Fable or Fable? Western Fable. West, Western Fable, yeah, okay, so cool. Yeah, so it's, it's an NN3 postcode, so it's on the eastern side of Northampton. Okay, cool. Um, nope. But yeah, they've normally got somebody there until yeah. four or five o'clock. Yeah, it's quite rude. Also, I went up and asked him... Uh, you know, why he's parked with double yellows on his phone with his engine running. He just rolled his window and said, oh, I can't be asked for this. And just sat there idling, which is an offence, on his phone with the engine on, which is an offence. You know, um, and parked on double yellows. You know, it's not acceptable. You're literally outside a police station as yeah. well, you know. And then obviously that van parks up on double yellows to serve the police here. And they do nothing about it. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, I'm... If I was part of a complaints team, yeah, then yeah. I'd be able to manage that. Yeah, yeah. But I, was, I, was, I, I, I understand. Sort of solution, I understand that you're busy, yeah. It's not that I'm busy, uh, it's just I'm not part of a complaints yeah. team. Okay, fair enough. Um, we deal with investigation, but from somebody in custody usually. Yeah. Um, and that's what I'm dealing with today. No worries. Well, I appreciate um, your professionalism right, no and have no a good worries. day. Take care. Have a good day. You're telling her all about the offences you committed? All the offences that you committed, confessing. Is he confessing all his offences to you? No? no. So I enlighten you instead? Pardon? What I'd say, instead of actually saying the situation, yeah. I'd probably say if, if you... Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, what, seeing if, I'm seeing if this lady can take it instead. So you said you're not part no, of the complaint so this team. Is a, that's, a, that's a response officer. So they respond to emergency incidents, mm -hmm. okay? But if, if you, okay. If, but even a response so officer, what if going, they witness explain, something, if she's again. literally witnessing what it and doing nothing. Again. Stop talking for me. I, I don't um, tell me to stop talking. So you can politely request, but you don't tell me to stop well, talking. Well, that's rude. Point, okay? so well, well I'm, you can't tell me to stop talking. You don't have to accept my request. No, I don't. It wasn't a request, was it? It was a directive. The solution is very rude. Is to go through to our county complaint team. Yes, you've told me all of that. Yeah. We did. So yeah. that lady is not part of our complaints team. But she's okay. just witnessed it first hand, so she can so actually act it on it. Anything. Well, so apart from the fact he's idling on double yellow lines, both offences, so yes, you have. to me either, and you were happy with my solution. Pardon? Okay, you were happy with my solution, and I spoke to you. You said you're dealing with a prisoner, that's why. You complained about the Gabby to you as well, then? Pardon? You complained about Gabby to you? I have, yes. Yeah. Okay, so if, if we, I've recommended the places to go and make a complaint to, and I've also given you two other solutions, mm -hmm. which is one via phone and the second one via online. Mm -hmm. um, as I've recommended, the online could be slightly faster, yes. and it's easier if you've got a smartphone yes. as well. Yes, recommended, um, but, you know, and I appreciate okay. your recommendations. Because this is a response officer, okay? Mm -hmm. So, at the moment, it, this, this, this lady will normally have some sort of job deployed to, or she's waiting for a job to be deployed to. Well, while she's okay. waiting, she could uh, take off the details and raise the log, couldn't she? But I can do that, yeah, and you didn't ask me to do that either. Well, you said you're busy with the prisoner. Yeah. She's sat here in a vehicle. Okay. Well, it's a bit different, isn't it? And unfortunately... Um, I've, got, I've got witness sending, and just the same... So you didn't see him idling on double yellow lines? Unfortunately, sir. If idling, idling your vehicle is a criminal offence. Well, no, take his details and log the crime... And raise the crime, take, take, take his details. Number? Yes, I have. Did you take the VRM of the vehicle yes. as well? Yes. Okay, and you've taken the location as well? Yes. And time and date? Yeah. Okay, so, and you've got it on visually recorded evidence yep. as well. So, essentially, you've got all the, the, the evidence you need. Yeah, but then it's that um, thing of why, why, do, why does nobody do anything about it when they witness it? Is we then need to raise that incident, because if right. you believe it's an incident... If you saw me doing that in a vehicle, outside your police station, parked there, idling on double yellows, on my phone, with the yeah. engine on, you come up and give me a ticket straight away. I wouldn't. Well, you wouldn't, but she well, probably would if she pulled up and seen me doing that. Um, based on something on probably um, isn't good enough at the moment. Why not? That's what, that's what, that's what you guys do you all said the time. I would have done that, and I wouldn't have. Um, yeah. Because it'd be down to my discretion at the time, and it'd be the same for the software as well. It'd be that lady's discretion. Right. Okay. So, you've, as I said, you've got the visually recorded evidence. You've got the officer's collar number. Mm -hmm. You felt what was being done today was wrong, mm -hmm. and you, you believe it, it's an offence to do that. Well, I don't believe it, it is. As, you know, the okay, legislation so you, says you say it, legislation it's not that I believe is, And you it say it's a fact mm -hmm. um, that this person was committing an offence, and it was a police officer on duty in a marked vehicle yep. with, a, with the collar number, um, and you said, this is wrong. Mm-hmm. And if you believe that's wrong and you say it is wrong, raise that concern. But That's what I was about to do. What we need to do is we need to raise that concern through the correct channel. And this is not the correct channel. Well, why not? Because I've given you the so correct you channel again. You okay. You're not a paramedic though, you're a police constable. No, so and I've got no powers uh, over him. I haven't witnessed him doing anything. So you didn't so you're saying outright you did not witness that vehicle idling on double yellow lines. 
to can we is it best to probably raise it because at the moment we're going around in circles and we're not giving you an end solution here and ultimately if you see something is wrong i agree i'd want a solution to that mm -hmm. as well okay so aligning with you saying okay if that's what you've done i've understood with you and i've been polite and professional throughout i've given you my collar number well, as well until you started trying to give me directives telling me to stop talking well, that was moment, rude when you've asked for something and well yeah I've but i was done i was done with my conversation with you you came an back i have come back because you've then gone to another officer to raise the exact same concern we are of the same rank and if my solution isn't the right if i've provided you a solution that isn't with me mm -hmm. that officer is going to do the same thing as well not necessarily it is because not necessarily the, as, as, as you said you wouldn't do something because it's down yeah. to discretion so um, uh, but so it would have been down her that would have been down to her discretion so, as well we so your discretion process. is not the same as her discretion process. and the best way to get what you've or what you've what clearly has upset you on maybe frustrated you today is to go through the correct channel to get that resolved mm -hmm. and what you're doing right now is not going to get your your solution resolved the issue resolved sorry okay but again it's, it's that thing of if i did that outside here i would be but that's sick not, that wasn't your problem your problem was the officer doing it and that's what yeah. you told me yes but again but again if right i did now, that then if. i we don't want to go with an if we want to go with a fact and you seem quite a factual person so let's not go with an if and make it conditional. Let's go with what we've actually got at hand. Mm -hmm. Okay? And what we've got at hand is what you've explained to me today. So I'm not going to base it on a situation that could happen. Let's base it on a situation that has happened. Right. Okay? So you've got a, you've got the correct channel to go through. Please, could you go through that channel? Okay. So I'll, um, I'll I'll go get a vehicle. I'll park it there and idle it and go on my phone. And then uh, you guys can raise it through the correct channels because you exactly. guys won't do anything it, about it. That's fine. No yeah. problem. All right. I'll go get my vehicle and I'll just sit here idling on my phone. Okay. And you guys can just walk by and do nothing about it. And potentially that could happen. Yeah. That could happen. Um, sure it would. <laughs> but it could. And yeah. Oh, but let's not talk happen. about could. Let's not talk about what could happen. Well, pop your vehicle there then. <laughs> If that's what you would like to do, oh, I don't recommend yeah. you do that, and I don't advise you to do no, that. No, I'm not going to do that, because I'm not going to stoop to his level. But that's fine, but I don't advise you to do that. Um, it, of course, I'm not going to stop you from doing it, but I can't. I, my advice is yeah. please don't do that. And you can't stop me from okay. asking every constable that I meet along the way the same question, no, unfortunately. Yeah, you, again, you've given me your recommendations, yeah. fine, appreciate and it. That's, that's the best and, way. and that's fine, and I'll take your recommendations on board, but... I will still do things because how I see fit to do them. If I reported something, I would hope that to get the best possible outcome, I'd want mm -hmm. to go through the best possible channel. Mm -hmm. And the channels that you've gone through today, from any marked vehicle or any person that works at this station, mm -hmm. isn't the correct team. That team don't work at this station. So, so nobody here will do anything about uh, in, in an offence in, in terms of that. Um, and raising that complaint and actually giving you an outcome, um, not from this station. So no. she can literally just get her notepad out, take down my details, log the offence, get back to me. It could be that quick and simple. I could literally tell her I'm a collar. I could tell them to call a number now. The offence is... No. Why not? No. Because she's a response officer. But so a response officer, if she if was responding to a crime, wouldn't be able to log a crime. Of course she can. A constable has the power to Absolutely. log a crime. And, it's and, not that and, she can't, it's that she won't. Yeah, because and that's the, the difference. The police force, because it's another police officer as well, because it's another police officer as well, we have a way to do things. And it's a process. And I've raised that process. <laughs> have a way to do things. Go through, the, go through the online channels, fob us off with... Not necessarily online. It's there exactly what happens. Options, yeah, okay, Ring 101. Yes, yeah, Ring 101. Um, and what the last one? Uh, what was one? the other one? No, I can't remember the last one now. The last one, I'll remind you of it. Um, it was to go to an actual open oh, police station. Oh, to the station. open police station, yeah. yeah. So, which, so that's just Western Fable. Yeah. As I said, that's probably the easiest one, um, if you actually wanted to see somebody mm -hmm. in person. Um, they're, I think they work until about four-ish. Again. Uh, so again, the Western Fable police station, the people at the front yeah. desk. Uh, yeah, four. It's about four or five o'clock. Yeah. Um, so, um, and then the other station, I don't know if it's always got somebody there, but Campbell Square. Sorry. Um, so an alternative as, as, as a constable, regardless of what part, of, what team you work for, yes. right, you have a duty to uphold your, uphold your oath, right, which is to act fairly, impartiality, act with integrity. Absolutely. Ignoring a crime just because it's not part of your team and your force or your task force, whatever it is. Mm -hmm is ignoring parts of your oath and can actually be classed as malfeasance in public office not acting on your duties to the harm well, or benefit of another person our duty and within the oath that we sworn make complaint down the right channels then and again okay. all this well, going so back now that you've raised the complaint, complaint with right. both of us right um it's now going to need to go okay. through the correct channel again because i can't then okay well, that wouldn't even be a complaint that if, if it was malfeasance in public office, that would be a charge, indictable offence up to 14 years in prison. So. Investigation through our professional yeah. um, what's your column number there, sorry? 1214. Yeah. Thank you. And your base, what station? Western Fable. Where you're based at Western Fable. Yeah, that's where oh. it's normally easiest and, to And where are you based, sorry? I'm based at this station. You're based here, yeah? Yeah, I'm based here. I okay. work here. Cool. Um, predominantly, okay, they can move us. Yep. Um, but yeah, usually I'm, I'm, cool. I'm here. Fine. Right, we'll leave it at that then. That's uh, three complaints, no worries.
Yeah. Cool. Um, and remember, best way to raise a complaint, you've got three ways. First one's <laughs> online and through yeah. the Northampton Police website. And yeah. I think you can actually raise it. That's normally the quickest mm -hmm. if you want to do it without actually having to speak to somebody face to face. It gives you a complete sort of topic and list that you can go through and then you can write a full complaint. Um, I don't know if it allows you to attach anything in terms of like a, like a Dropbox, like a file or a video there and then. I think you may have to send it at a, a later stage. You can send small files. Um, with a video well, on a nice smartphone, it may be too big. Yeah, consistent. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I'd throughout. have to send screenshots or yeah, exactly. links to a video. Yeah, absolutely. Yep, I know. Um, I'm aware. And then the second way um, is via the phone through 101. Through the busy hours, it may take a while, mm -hmm. to be completely honest with you. Mm -hmm. Um, especially that rush hour period in the evenings. Mm -hmm. um, and then lastly, Western Fable Police Station, um, there's normally a female or a male um, civilian staff at that front desk, okay? Cool. Um, and no then worries. lastly, you've got, uh, depending on where you live, if you are in this county, you've got potentially Campbell Square, don't quite, I'm not 100% mm -hmm. certain on that. And then lastly, um, you've got the NAP, so that's the Northern Accommodation Building, that's based in Kettering, okay? Yep. Um, that's the new fancy building, it, it stands out quite a lot, and mm -hmm. you can always speak to somebody to raise that concern through there as well. Um, well, I'll go to Western Fable, seeing as that's where the uh, officer... Are you recording me? Yeah. Is there a reason you didn't notify me in line with your policies? Have you notified me that you're I don't have policies to follow, you do. The thing is, I can request that under uh, GDPR and Data Protection Act. If I don't know that I've been recorded because you haven't notified me, how am I supposed to exercise my right to access that footage? Yes, but again, again, but if I don't know that I've been recorded and I don't know this footage to request, how would I do that? Because I wouldn't even know I've been recorded. Exactly. So follow your policies, please. Notify members of the public when you start recording them. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you for your time. Um, hopefully I've given you an answer to... Or not a, satisfac you maybe some not a satisfactory one, no. no I, 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 don't, I don't agree with what you said. I think you're both constables. I think you both have the power and the... Uh, duty under your oath to act on something when you see it happening. Um, particularly, you said you're busy dealing with a prisoner. You're sat there in a vehicle. Unfortunately, not I'm not directly. If you turned your blues on and had to shoot off, I'd be like, all right, fair enough. You've got more important things to do. I'm on a pace clock with that yeah. suspect. Um, yeah, of um, course. You've got 24 hours. I know. Go. Be calm. Uh, okay. Um, and I simply just helped a, a custody sergeant out to facilitate that mm -hmm. that journey home for that person. Mm -hmm. um, and I've just noticed yourself, and I thought I would just sure. make contact and connect with sure, you. Sure. Um, Oh, yeah. but hopefully, yeah. I, I know that it's maybe not the answer you were given, but no. from what I've been told and the uh, answer that I've got, that was the correct process to give yeah. you. No, um, that, that's a process, and that's the process we got fobbed off with, so constables don't have to deal with it, um, even though, again... Well, that was the guidance I've got. Yeah, and, under, under and their obligation of that oath. If, um, it, was my, if it was myself, you know. I would want to, if I have a complaint or I raise a concern, I'd want to go to a team that specialised in that concern or that complaint. Because that way, I've got a team that specialises in that. They're aware of that. They deal with that daily potentially, and they can give you the best possible outcome. I'm sorry for any for any console. I'd like to think that uh, getting details from somebody to raise issue of idling on a phone on double yellows is pretty basic stuff. I don't think you'd need specialists well, for that. Obviously, you have. I don't want to discredit know. those people because no, I would no I'm not saying that aren't specialists for. Obviously, you have the you have the road teams and that. But you, you know, it's it it's, it's something it's something that. I think it's quite common knowledge about not being on your phone while your engine's running, especially with the new law that's recently come out. There's a lot of publicity yeah. around it. It'd be a specialist team. <laughs> All right, then. Yeah. Um, I, I can't say exactly what team specifically. I'm pretty sure it goes through the complaint team. Um, and then if there's something that involves a police officer, it potentially goes to our official side of the team. Mm -hmm. um, also known as PSD. But again, yep. I am not based at this station either. Okay. Um, so... In terms of people at this station, for example, the chief constable, mm -hmm. he doesn't work at this station either. Yeah. Um, no, I'd rather, usually... I'll, uh, I'll avoid PSD, I'll go straight to IOPC, to be honest. Yeah, PSD is PSD's internal, IOPC is independent. So, yeah, we won't be getting, uh, won't be getting PSD involved, we'll go straight to IOPC. Yeah, okay. So, um, uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully you sort of have a slightly yeah. better day without any issues. Hopefully. Yeah. Hopefully I'll meet some constables that are willing to hold their oath, but there we go. We'll see how that goes. Yeah. All Alrighty, nice. have a good day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello. Uh, what was your name, by the way? I didn't give it, did I? No, no, that's what I said. What was your name? As a question. You said, well, yeah. You no, said, last week you said, my name's Chris, as I said. Okay. Yes, you did, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to give any details. Thank you. All right. Cool. No worries, bud. All right.
Uh, well, yeah, we got the two constables, the uh, one constable violating laws uh, that aren't going to do anything about it. And I follow this pub public footpath, <laughs> and uh, that constable that just uh, I was talking to is now just watched me go into the car park. So I noticed uh, while I was talking to those officers, they have a slogan on their cars, fighting crime and protecting people. Doesn't seem like they're very good at the fighting crime aspect of that job. Uh, yeah, the vehicles themselves, uh, no rubbish laying around in them, which is good. Let's have a wander around, have a look for some marked vehicles. Pardon? I'm not parking. Thank you. Pardon? Mm -hmm. Can you now leave? Was that a lawful request? What, what law am I breaking by being here? Filming car parks in, cars in this car park. It's and what, you, what law is that? What law is that breaking? You need to leave. And what is a trespass a criminal matter, is it? Yeah. Is that a criminal offence? See, it's funny because when you think I'm doing something illegal, you come and accost me, but you were too busy to deal with these sorts of things two minutes ago when I reported an officer committing offences.